Hi everybody. <coughs> Hi everybody. My name is Green PC, and uh, today I'm gonna make a tutorial. Every time, uh, today I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to make those generators in Electrical Age. As you see, this is a steam generator, which is not effective. It's not very effective. As you see, 52 volts, and I, you have to use a DC DC converter to, well, make it to 200 volts. <clears throat> a steam generator works that way. That it needs a single input of at least of. Mm, I'm not actually sure myself. Wait, does it stand here? Mm. No, but. It needs a single input of 100 to go full throttle, and it also needs steam. It can be steam from railcraft, as you see here, and to make steam you need water, from for example this water source, which I made, um, that gets pumped up, put it in a tank, as if uh, somehow someone took the water out to make it hard for you, you will have much water left. and. You need also a a <coughs> steam boiler, and to make that, you need solid fueled boiler box or or a liquid fueled boiler box. Solid is that good? That uh, a solid fueled boiler box is good because you can use a firestone, which you can obtain by from the nether and it's very good as you see here uh, one firestone it took it up to 1000 degrees celsius in like i think one minute whilst coal and fuel will make it will around take it to 1000 in like i think 10 minutes or more so as you see this is how many steam <laughs> turbines or yeah steam turbines you need to give it <laughs> 200 volts and the thing with this thing is that this is a probe electrical probe which if it's under 200 volts it will give 100 percent of value and um, it will give 50 volts which means 100% value, which will make them go full throttle. But if it, but when it gets like in between those, the value gets down, which right now it is, to make them slow down. So the voltage goes between 200 and 210. And as I said, you need a DC DC converter to <laughs> make it work effective, effectively. So this is not an effective thing. You see how many of those you need. Um, you don't need those creative um, engines. You can use whatever engines you want. I just use creative because I'm lazy. And instead of using those, you can make a gas turbine generator, which looks like this. This gas turbine generator. With this thing, the good thing is that it <laughs> um, doesn't need much energy to work. You, d you just need one of those to make around 3000 volts. That's why I needed two of the DC DC converters to take the voltage down to 200. So, how does this work? Because you see, there is fuel coming. This is at 100%. But it's not working. Well, as you see here, a gas turbine um, needs to be spun up so it will work. So to spin it up, you need like, a generator like this to give it voltage and a voltage to make it work. I made this little thing so all the electricity doesn't go through into the labs, but into those, so let's hope it doesn't explode. As you see, uh, now the voltage speeds up. Let's hope it doesn't explode. It 
should start stopping at around 120, I think. Yeah, you see, it's going slower. Up. And sooner it will just go down instead of up. The, as you see, the degrees are stuck at 122 here. Here at 129, and I think soon they should go down. Yeah, as you see, now they go down. And from around 63 volts, it gets over to 1 kilov kilovolt, which speeds it up. To make this work, you need at least 600 rads. Right now we have 279, 280, 290, and we are half way. So soon, <coughs> pretty soon, this should start working. And this generator also uses 40 MB of fuel a second. So this is how much it, it used as I tested. So uh, as soon as you heard the noise of it being turned on, <laughs> we just have to turn this off and it's going to work by itself. Let's uh, wait just a second, it's going to get there soon. You see the temperature is still going down, well it's here, it's going down too so it's pretty good. We are getting closer, look look look, we are very close now. This 100% here. Yeah. Here it is, sound. Now just turn this thing off. It gives a 0% output now because there's too much voltage. As I showed here, if it's 200 volts, it gives 100% out of it. If it's <laughs> if it's 220, it gives 0. So now, there's going low on voltage again, so it speeds this turbine on. The only thing that with this is that you need fuel, and it makes much noise. This thing is starting to turn off, as you see here. The voltage is going down. Oh no, the voltage is not going down, but the temperature is going down. Efficiency on this thing is also going down, temperature too. And as you see, it doesn't need any energy from this anymore. As you see, this thing, one, one turbine like this, with two generators, gives you 3.49 kilovolts. Uh, kilovolts, not kilovolts kilovolts which I need to degrade to 200 volts using well those two DC DC converters as you see I put them like that and we got this thing how to actually make it work well that one I don't want I have explained to you it's pretty easy to make it but it takes a long time this one is maybe a bit harder so it the, the cables have to be evenly spread so because if you will put one shorter one way will be shorter the problem will be that the electricity will take the shorter way round which will make the cable too hot that's why you see me that we have four medium cable with the probe here which doesn't actually do anything else it just measures and then a uh, very high voltage because I was lazy to change it. Uh, so you get just medium voltage all the way over here, then you change it to very high voltage because you know it has to be at least three, <laughs> 3000 volts to speed this. Uh, get us up. A turbine, a generator like this, I forgot to mention, actually speeds up if I give it. If you give it electricity, it'll start speeding up. And see, it spins pretty much pretty quickly. But that's because it's alone. What else do we have? We have also a flywheel, which makes a turb a generator go slower up. But if I take a joint, a joint is what you see here that just so the spins that gives energy from all of those to this generator all those two generators but also a hub that's that works as a junction 
for those two. So it technically combines all of them together. Um, I'm going to show you now what flywheel does. I'll put them like this. A flywheel, a flywheel give makes uh, speed up slower, but when it loses electricity to speed up or like uh, there doesn't have enough fuel, those will make it keep going, so it um, slows down slower. If that makes sense, I'm going to just show you. As you see, this one is already at <laughs> 100, 200 almost, and this one is just a 1. You see the difference, right? We just have to wait a bit. <laughs> That's 3 reds, this one is 100. You see both of them are that. But if I take this one out, this one will slow down quicker than the other one. So flywheels are actually pretty useful because if you like not ha have enough fuel anymore, the flywheels will make it keep producing energy until you get it give it more fuel. Then you need to start it up. Or actually you didn't need to start it up because you have flywheels, so you just need to give it fuel, it will just work back again. As you see, this one is already at 46, this one is still at 4.85. As you saw, that one has uh, more than this one, but it slows down slower. So, as I said, flywheels are a good deal. Yes, uh, so I think that's pretty much all. Maybe. Yeah. That's how you see it. Right here. Uh, if you have any questions to this, you can ask me. I can try to uh, answer them. But the original like idea for the for this generator was from a wiki side. I just made it like work f uh, for for me because it al always exploded on all both sides, so uh, I had to make it work for myself. But the original idea, I will give the link in the description how it works. So yeah, pretty much, this is all how it works. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna also show you this thing. This thing is a electrical age to all the <laughs> energy exporter. Like if I get, you have any difference? We have we have this one, which is 50 volts and 200 volts and 800 volts. I'm gonna shoot the differences. If I put it like that this one like this and put this one like that that's very wrong what I'm gonna give you now is a uh, I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna show uh, oh yeah rock crusher crusher right there so if I put this one like that oops that's it this one will be like there I will show you the differences between those two. So first, let's give all of them stone. This one give that much stone. This one get that. Yeah. So yeah. we put both all of them for all full. And now, what I need to do is just get a source for all of them and get a relay, just so it actually works how we want it to work. So like that, and a signal cable. So if I do it, you gotta see pretty much for yourself what I'm going to do. So this one's 550 volt one. This one is 200 volt one, and this one is 800 volts, which is actually pretty much 
But as we see right now, it doesn't actually give power because those are off. So I need a signal. So not a relay uh, switch. So if I click those, you're gonna see the difference. See the difference? <laughs> this is this is the 800 one, which now is bugged because I did something. <laughs> but you see, it goes much quicker than those. And the sound is really annoying. I think I'm gonna just take it down. Okay, here they are. So, this is 50 volts, which doesn't give you much energy. As you see, this one has just two. This one gives a little bit more energy in uh, the RF. <laughs> Red Flux meaning, which this one has already six, this one has two, whereas this one has already eight. But this one is bugged right now, so I have to fix it again. I just have to switch them off so that they turn off in some few seconds. That's it. Okay, so if I turn it back off, back on again, you see this is how it actually the speed of it. You see the RFTs. This one doesn't get much RFT. A RF a per take. So 800 volts, but you need much energy. This is an energy electrical source. You can't get it in survival. You can just get it created as a creative. Yeah, it sends creative lock. So yeah, that's why I have those there, so it can pump the water quicker. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all. As you see, it didn't even use much so far. It doesn't use much fuel. It does not use much fuel, as you see. Mm. <laughs> Whilst this thing actually uses much steam for as you see, so it has to have 7200 MPE steam, whilst that one just needs 40 MPE of fuel. So, well, those are not a good idea, unless, unless I know what you want to do with them. They don't make, at, le at least they don't make sound, and technically I are cheaper. Well, so this thing makes a pretty noisy sound because I know. Uh, yeah, you, you 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 can hear that. So that's pretty much all I have for today. I hope you enjoy it, and maybe you should explore this thing. No, just kidding. So yeah, uh, bye guys. <laughs>